Welcome to Ariba Training today. On the table of contents that we are going to be covering in our session, uh, we are going to discuss on the Ariba Commerce Cloud system, the dashboard and how we could customize it by just simple drag and drop feature. We are going to discuss a bit on the Ariba UI features like the sorting by default, it's always relevance and how we could search things and uh, use the spot by functionality versus the fixed vendor functionality that we have. We also discuss on the favorites and how we could add different items to the favorites section and uh, use them easily. We are going to discuss on the parametric search and uh, the process steps that are involved in a general P2P process as well as in Ariba specifically. We are going to discuss on the Ariba network and what it comprises of. Uh, and we are going to discuss on the user roles and different roles and responsibility associated with each of the specific user type. Uh, lastly, we'll have Ariba Mobile and the prepackaged reports that are uh, inbuilt part of the Ariba Commerce Cloud solution and help to bring powerful intuitive capabilities into the system that help you to create reports and manage your spend and procure to pay processes uh, and streamline them. Uh, let's move ahead and see the um, Ariba Commerce Cloud system and what is it comprises of. It has essentially three modules which are uh, the Ariba sourcing, the Ariba contracts, supplier information and performance management. When we see the procurement, we see that uh, there are different catalog requisitioning, ordering, receiving and invoice functionality that are integrated as a part of the Ariba procurement solution. Uh, we also have Ariba Network, which is the order and invoice transmission, catalog and RFX responses that seamlessly flow from one system that is ECC to the Ariba system or even through the Ariba system to the supplier network. So entire end-to-end -end process that happens inside the Ariba system is essentially happening through the Ariba Network, which is nothing but a B2B layer that encapsulates the information that helps to give a more secure and reliable connections uh, when it comes to transmission of your data from one system to the other. Let's move ahead and see the dashboard now. The dashboard essentially is very customizable. As you can see, we have the My Document section at the top. This is something by default that Ariba provides and we have the Common Action sections which provides you uh, ways on how you could create a contract request, a PO based invoice, non-PO invoices, etc. You can on also have these tabs here, home, contracts, procurement and catalog, modify according to how you would like to need it. Uh, it can be configured either by your administrator at a user for all the users in the organization or by letting the user configure it themselves. So if you see here the wrench, uh, when you click on this wrench and you uh, see a pop-up which comes up, it says add a to-do content or something from here. Once we do that and click on done, it will add the to-do instead of uh, the my documents that we were seeing earlier. So it's, it's that simple. If you would like, you could just drag it and drop it here and make the comment sections come here. So everything is just with the drag and drop or using these features which are very intuitive and would help you to probably uh, make it more personalized for your own usage and how you would like, it, like the screen to be when you first load it and how your different items or screen elements should be placed. Okay, so next we have the sorting options. We see here that I, I searched for a computer and I found these many items. Now it can be a difficult task when you need to choose a one particular item from a list of 1034 items. So Adiba provides you a sorting capability of finding it by relevance, which is something that they do it by default or by price, best selling or by name. So you can just uh, choose the option here. It is something that we have uh, in an, Amazon, uh, where in an Amazon shopping experience, when we are trying to book, look for an item, we always look for a price which is either uh, something that we are in, in, in a particular price range or we try to sort it by the price. So similar capabilities you have uh, by default with the Ariba systems. We have uh, now the next slide where we could search for items in Ariba catalog. If you type here, you can see a free text item that you can search and essentially it will list out whatever uh, is currently available or would help you with a guided text that you can select. You can also shop by category, which is again or something that's pre-configured in the system based on your product category data or um, the material master data you already have pre-configured. Uh, but there are certain things that you can just leave uncategorized, which you'll see here. They are, do not fall in any of these categories, but just can be ordered randomly by clicking here and finding the list of all those items. 
then we also have the uh, option to select by or shop by supplier or contract it helps you to uh, if you already have a particular vendor shortlisted you could just use that shop by supplier functionality to just find that particular supplier and the product catalogs associated with it and order accordingly so next slide we have the spot buy versus the fixed vendors if we see here there are certain uh, suppliers of which are not really registered with your company for such cases you would often see that uh, if it searches and finds no results to avoid that situation you can enable the spot buy functionality where for all the spot buy customers you can just show vendors from the Ariba wider network which may not be registered to your company network or may not be a registered supplier for you but you would still see them as a part of your Ariba network functionality, Ariba spot buy functionality that opens a wider area of uh, suppliers. So this helps you to source for items that are not really frequently ordered by your company. And then if you choose or if you select that supplier and the goods are acceptable, you can make them a fixed vendor and a part of your organization. And some companies are rigid that they do not want to interact with anyone outside their registered supplier network. So in that case, you can just switch it off. Next is one of the powerful capabilities of making items favorite. So if you try to uh, click on this star button here at the top of your screen, you would see the list of all the items that are added as a favorite. Either can be added by the admin. So for example, if you are a particular procurement agent and you often order material like a glass item or probably something to do with cleaners, then they can be added as a favorite item here and you don't really have to type something or look in the shop by category section. You can just click here and find those items, add to cart and just move out. If however that has not been done by the admin, you have an option here to add it to the favorite or click on the star which will also do the same thing. So this helps to save some time as you don't really have to follow the entire uh, steps of finding the right material or a vendor or a contract and you can just make it favorite. Next is the parametric search. As you see here, there are different uh, options that are associated with a particular product type. Uh, as we see here, this is a shirt and it has options like color, a particular color if you want, or a size of the shirt or a, sh or, or, or a shirt that has a collar or not. So for this particular item as shirt, we often have three attributes that we can define. So these become the parametric search criteria for that product category this is often useful when you have materials that have specific color type or attributes that you would want to use else you can just switch it off and it will just show a simple search uh, this is really recommended if you are looking for uh, giving a uh, giving your users options and different attributes that they could select from okay so let's come to the seven process steps that Ariba defines we have the contact catalog or the contract based requisition where you could either order from a catalog by browsing through the different elements or you have a contract already in place and you just order material based on your existing contract with the vendor. Then we have invoice against contracts. Uh, Ariba offers you to invoice directly against a contract, which is again an important functionality when you do not want to get into a creating a PO and you would just directly would like to bill the against a contract. We have another option called the collaborative requisitioning. It helps you to collaborate with vendors out, vendors, and ask them for say request for proposals or request for quotation where they come on board and assist you to fulfill in the entire or a part of the product that you are looking for and thus it can be sourced from one or different vendors and this that's how the collaborative requisitioning works. We also have the non-catalog requisition where you already ex order from your existing uh, material master or service master and there's no catalog as such. You can just order based on the product categories that you find in your system, maybe a service in case of a service PO. It could also be like a, uh, it could also be a consulting fee or say a plumbing service that will come in the service PO category. Uh, there will be a service entry sheet that you can fill in or it can be based on whatever pricing arrangements that you have active in your system. Then we have the invoice, which is the without contract or PO. Uh, these will be the case where uh, there is has been already this uh, migration from a legacy system to your Ariba network. And there are some invoices which do not have a PO or a contract that exists in the Ariba system. In that case, the supplier would send you a manual invoice and you can either fax it or you can scan it into the Ariba system and create an invoice for it. 
So there's a particular process step that they follow. If you would like to create the invoice, which is which is not having any kind of a reference in the Ariba system. Then we have the direct material automation, which is again the plan driven procurement kind uh, where you have a MRP run from for an existing bill of materials or from a production run. Some of the materials have been finished and it needs to be ordered. It can everything can be automated where the system automatically orders a particular material from a vendor that has previously been used. That will be the direct material automation. Coming to the next slide, we have the Ariba network consisting of the ERP as well as the Ariba procured pay system and how these integrate with each other. Like uh, it could be like a catalog or a master data that comes from the ERP system to the Ariba or a purchase order which gets created in the Ariba system and goes to ECC or a purchase order change essentially where it goes from one system and from one system to the other. We also have the confirmations ASN and invoices flowing to and fro from a rebate system to the ECC and vice versa uh, where the supplier confirms that they've dispatched the goods or they've been uh, or the goods have been received in full and the supplier has entered an invoice. So this happens over the Ariba procure to pay and moves seamlessly into the ECC system via standard connectors, which uh, we will, uh, which have been provided both by the SAP and Ariba systems, and they integrate by downloading the master data extractions, uh, extraction programs, and uh, sending it to the Ariba system. This happens either uh, as a part of your initial load download or as an incremental load. Uh, can be defined during your system integration processes. Next is the user roles. Uh, we have different uh, users and their responsibilities as a part of your Ariba systems like the preparers who creates the requisition and other documents for themselves. And we have people for whom the requisitions are created and uh, they generally do it for their own sake. Preparers are the one who buys on behalf of other user. They may be the procurement agent in uh, your system. Then we have the approver who actually is a person who's at the managerial position and takes care to approve the document as, as ensuring that everything has been correctly filled in and the best price has been provided. Then we have the procurement agents who approves and finalize a non-catalog item perform collaborating or requisitioning tasks. These can be the procure, these can be either the operational buyers or the strategic buyers or maybe someone who's already uh, knowing the system pretty well to be able to negotiate the contract with the vendor. Uh, so these these will be your uh, mostly those kind of users are the super users. Then we have the administrator that loads the data, maintain the approval rules and provides the basic technical support and troubleshooting which helps to uh, understand the system and uh, it also helps to see if there are any failed transmissions and so that they could take care and re-trigger them to avoid any bottlenecks. Next is the Ariba mobile. It has got like the activate mobile option where you can enter your activation code. When you accept the same in the Ariba mobile, both the system get integrated. This means that you will have the same exact information in both the systems. So Ariba mobile consists of the approval, the shopping, the my request and the request to watch options where you could enter your uh, enter into the mobile app and see whatever actions are pending on you. If you would like to see a report for a particular document or your organization structure, you can also avail that because uh, it has got uh, integrated report sections as well. Now this everything is customizable and you would not want the report section to be uh, uh, provided to a regular employee. So you can minimize and restrict your roles again uh, by deciding which which role would be suited to what employee and how you could remove tabs or increase tabs based on their roles and responsibility in the organization. So if you see here, these are the approval, shopping via catalog and reports uh, functionality that are provided in the Ariba mobile. Okay, let's move on. We see that the approval app also provides you notification. When there is something that has come for you to approve, it will send you a push notification. You log into the Ariba mobile, you will see a list of all the tasks that are pending your approval. Select any of them, go inside and you will see that there are three, four tabs again with attachments, information and other things that you can check before you plan to either approve, deny or comment on it and send it back to the requester. 
if everything looks okay you can just approve enter your comments and click on done and it would be removed from your to-do list now coming to the uh, pre-packaged reports, pre-packaged reports are essentially something that Ariba provides as a part of their, uh, as a part of the software. So if you click here on your create button and find the pre-packaged reports, you will see a list of all the reports as you can see here for acquisition. So it has got the general templates, the payment analysis, the p-card reports and requisition report. I'm going to right click on them and open it. I'm going to open it in the front end. You can also run it in the background or view the stored results. So when I open it, I see that there's a view report option and I've, I have some filter criteria like the date or the most recent items or a future dated items or a particular business unit or a cost center that I would want to filter the criteria on. Click on view report or click on export that will export it to the Excel or you could run it in the background if you think it's got a lot of entries then it's always advisable to run it in the background so with this we've come to the end of the training the Ariba Commerce Cloud system the dashboard which is very customizable Ariba UI features like sorting by default it's always relevance searching for the different criteria using a product category a supplier or by a contract then spot by versus fixed vendors and making things favorite We've also looked at how we could do use the parametric search and create attributes for a product category. We saw the different process steps that are involved in a P2P scenario and uh, what does the Ariba network comprises of and how it connects the two systems like ECC and Ariba together. We also have the user roles, different kind of uh, users that are available in the system and we can add roles to them. Then we have the final Ariba mobile and the pre-packaged reports which are again a very powerful capability and are provided as an integrated part of the solution uh, and no extra cost or efforts involved to mobilize your Ariba solution. It's already a part of it. Pre-packaged report has got uh, powerful BI capabilities that help you to create dashboards and reports that you could use for your systems. Lastly, we have the, uh, lastly it's always good to read the procurement user guide freely available on the internet. You could download it and have a look at the different sections that are available. It covers a part of the things that we've already discussed and a bit more details on what the Ariba Cloud solution really offers. Uh, I recommend please to go through it and uh, have a good read. Thank you for taking time to attend the session today. I hope you enjoyed the session.